Okay, check it out, guys. Uh, we're actually going live at 2 p.m. Pacific, which is 5 p.m. my time and Eastern time. And we'll be discussing the Ramp It Up event, which is happening today. We've waited a long time. Hopefully, Arkimoto has some good news for us, and they're going to show us uh, how they're progressing in their factory and what's going on with sales. There's some good conversation happening in our Discord. Here's Quasi. He says, uh, he actually posted this from Twitter. Our friends at Arkimoto are developing the second generation of their three-wheeled fun utility vehicle. Staffel Systems is refining a torque vectoring and management system, which enables Arkimoto's FUV to provide the ultimate ride experience. I think this is probably Sandy Monroe's, and they've discussed this uh, uh, on our Discord, but this could be just, you know, uh, generation two is Sandy Monroe's generation two. So we'll see what, what happens there. All right, and here we're discussing what we think is going to be a New York announcement. I don't think there's going to be a New York announcement. Eddie, I actually think they're going to go to the southern states first. It doesn't make sense to go to New York initially. But look, if they do, they come here, great. Uh, it'll be around me, and I get to actually rent one before I even get one, which I have an order out. FUV price currently has tanked because look at the market. It is totally in the red. We know what's going on. Possible war, Ukraine news, Russian news. No one knows what's going on. No one knows what's uh, what's happening. But uh, in the long term, I think this is noise, at least for the U.S. markets. If you liked uh, FUV at six bucks, well, now it's at five bucks again. And uh, I'll take a look at the chart, but it, everything's pretty much down. Definitely a decent time to DCA. And I'll show you why it's probably a decent time to DCA. So here we are sitting right at this point. And if you just look at the history, there's been a lot of resistance to this $5 mark way in the past, ever since 2017. So we fought against this many times, one time, two times, three times. And then when we broke through, we still stayed and tested it multiple times. So if anyone doesn't have any shares at this point, then I would say it's not the worst time to accumulate shares. And I have my shares, so I actually am looking for a better price because I'm already in this play. I keep saying it. So, and this environment is absolutely terrible, obviously, for these types of stocks. So this can totally go down lower. But let's just look at all the activity around the $5 level that we do have some support here. There was a lot of resistance in the past. But if it breaks down, which we are sort of, mm, we're holding the $5 right here. But if it breaks below it, I think we're going pretty much straight down to $3. And uh, still on the table, you know, we, we can have another couple of months of this type of action. Because if we can't break through this downtrend, this is a massive downtrend, by the way. This downtrend is from uh, February of 2021, our peak of 36 bucks, where we all should have sold, but we didn't. <laughs> so now we're sitting here. And uh, well, if, it, if it pumps even, look where it's going. It's going to six, seven dollars, and then it's going to possibly collapse again. This is all just probabilities. There's nothing certain here, of course. And my final thoughts on it is that at five dollars, it's definitely worth to DCA if someone is DCAing, but I'm holding out for the bigger drop if it comes. If it doesn't, I'm okay. I'm ready to go up. I'm ready to go back to 36 bucks. PayPal is still holding out to the $100. We'll see if it breaks through. Let's take a look at the chart real quick. And if it breaks through, here's the $100. I think the next level up is actually $94 because that's where we actually had our support and resistance. I mean, beyond that, you know, we can draw one more line over here, but like you're really... You're really hoping for the world to end. This is like, these situations are crazy. So can it go to 77? Yeah. So after 94, we're, we're going to 77. And uh, if that happens, so be it. But I have bought at the $100 level. Now I'm waiting for probably a little bit of the 94. And then if the 77 happens, sure, fine. 77, whatever. Keep coming. Uh, the last one I wanted to cover is Square 2. So these are the stocks I'm tracking, obviously. Uh, there's also Tesla on the list. So that's down. We'll go over that in another video, but block or square has really dropped and it's still probably going down lower. The chart is not looking great. If it's already broken down a bit, so we are, it does look like we're going to go to around $85, $86. I'll be buying some over here. And then we might be heading down to 56 bucks if it actually decides to just stay in this range for a bit. But it might confirm this $86, assuming the markets aren't completely, they're still treacherous. So, and we're in a downtrend here. You can see this red line, big downtrend. Like, it doesn't look good. It looks like we might actually end up going to 55 now that I'm looking at it again. But, uh, or at least trade in this range. And if not, we trade in this range. So it might hold this $86 level, maybe. In this environment, I don't even think it'll hold it. Uh, but I'll still buy here because I, I consider DCAing as something I do on the way down. 
and uh, especially for things that I think are valued fairly. Let's see why it's dropping so low. I think this is why right now in 2021, sales growth estimate is 86% for the whole year. And Q4 numbers are coming out soon, I think in the next two days. So we'll know exactly what this was. But next year, or 2022 this year, they're expecting only 6.5% growth. I don't know if I believe that. So this could be the main reason why it is tanking so hard, that if this is true, that is only 6.5% sales growth, then this the PE that we have right now is showing that we, we're going to go lower. That's what it's showing. I don't necessarily believe this. So if you look back at the PE, the forward PE 52, that at 6% sales growth, yeah, yeah, this is overvalued. Like if that's what's going to be happening, uh, not a great company to get involved in. But I don't know. I don't believe that at all. That is really low growth that they're that they're they're predicting here. Uh, I'm 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 gonna have to look further why this is so low, and this could be the main reason why it's tanking so hard. Uh, but yeah, just looking at uh, the charts, 86 bucks and then 55 bucks. So if you ever wanted to own Square between this range, your time might be coming up. And I have been buying all the way down, so. Uh, there's no reason for me to stop now. I do believe in this long term, so I'll just keep buying it all the way down and get my cost basis down to maybe, I'm hoping to hit 100 cost basis because right now I'm at around 150 or so. So I'm pretty high up here. Uh, but getting it down to 100 bucks if it tanks this low, definitely worth it for me. And so those are the three companies I'm watching. There's some others, but these are the main ones. Obviously, check out our Discord. A lot of people are talking uh, FUV. We have a lot of stuff going on. Um, we're talking about EVs in general and, and posting a lot on that. We're talking Tesla, of course. If you join our Patreon, it's only a buck to join and uh, 420 if you want the higher level. But uh, we're going to have all our trades here as we've been still buying. N not every single day, but we are still buying. Last My last buy was actually PayPal. That was actually a call I bought. It's $100 strike price in 2024. I paid $19.50 a share. So, you know... Right now, I think I'm down on this. We're all down on everything. But there you go. We have all our episodes listed. We have stock alerts. I'm talking about the stocks that I'm tracking here. Enphase, PayPal, Square, even Facebook, guys. Yes, and FUV, of course, tracking that. And uh, we have member updates for everybody who joins our Patreon. So please join that. And if you just want the free Discord, of course, it's right there. Uh, this is all open to the public. You can join it. Go ahead and post and all the companies that you love, we're talking about. We've actually been talking a lot about Palantir as well recently. And we did a video coming out tomorrow. So there you go. A lot of Palantir stuff. A lot of actual information from people tracking Palantir. Yeah, we have an old video with uh, Alex Karp. He was actually very coherent, not as jittery in this video. So it makes me think, like, why is he so nervous now? Uh, maybe it's just because now it's a public company. He's a big CEO. I don't know. But uh, definitely way more nervous now than he was. And there's a, there's a great interview. You can see him, uh, uh, from, I don't know, basically like 10 years ago or so. I'll mention it for the last time, but here we go. Our live event is happening in a couple of hours. It's right now 2.54 my time, PM. It's happening in two hours, 5 PM. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like, join the Patreon, join the Discord. There's a lot of things to do, I know, but join a couple of those things, or at least hit the like and subscribe. That helps us out. Cost you nothing, helps us out. Thank you very much and see you in two hours.